Hey there, speculators. It's Rod, yep. your futures fanatic. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, do you find that every time that you decide you're going to try to pick a bottom in the market on a stock or whatever you happen to be trading, that it always goes lower? And you're like, man, how do people pick bottoms? That's what I'm going to talk about tonight. So what we're going to talk about is how you can use a very simple indicator and the settings I'll tell you about tonight to find ways to find turning points in the market and also inversely stay out of big drops when it's not time yet to uh, to get in there. So today we've had a big red day. If you can see over here, uh, all of the stock indices closed sharply lower. Uh, there is a lot of uh, concerns in the marketplace about interest rates and emergency Fed meeting and of course some of the tensions that are happening uh, in Ukraine. So that's the perfect formula for a big red down day and basically closing on the lows uh, in the NASDAQ. But this week and specifically today, uh, this extreme turn indicator, which by the way is not available publicly, but you can find out more about how it works and how you can get access to it by just looking at the description below because I am still giving away my entire Futures Fanatic course for free. It's a 30 video course. It's going to tell you all about futures. It introduced the concepts of some of these uh, indicators that we have over here uh, on TradingView. But I won't leave you hanging in terms of the logic that goes behind this. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the signal and what this uh, what this is telling you. This single racing stripe here, this is a 30 minute bar of the MNQ, the NASDAQ Micro Futures contract. So this is a signal that you wanna take, one single bar. The very next bar, if the condition isn't there, that's a good long. And as you can see, it worked out, it went straight up to our uh, target here, which is a T line. It's a 233 EMA moving average. However, you do not want to take this. Why do you not want to take this when it's the same thing? It says extreme turn buy. This is where I should buy. Well, because on the next bar, the condition is still present. This is a big old fat racing stripe. You don't want the fat racing stripes. You want the thin racing stripes. This is essentially saying that since it's the buy signal is so strong, it's bad. It's so good, it's bad. So you stay out of these trades right here. Let me show it to you on the MES, which is the micro S&P contract. So here's an example of two good signals. Did they both work out? No, the market went lower after these extreme term buys. However, here's a very good single bar extreme term buy. Market went straight up to the same level there. So you can see at least uh, for this week, the NASDAQ and the S&P were pretty correlated uh, this week. It's not always the case. However, here's a ba basically about two and a half hours where this indicator is screaming at you, do not buy, do not buy, stay out of the way. All right, now how do you tell if you don't have this indicator, how would you know when this condition is present? So let me go over here to the long indicator. I need this one right here, perfect. Okay, so what this is everybody is it's an RSI, relative strength index, set to five with a period of smoothing of one, okay? But all you gotta do is apply an RSI, a relative strength index to your chart, okay? You're gonna set the period to five. It generally will default to 14. And then you want the upper set to 14 and the lower set to 16. Let me actually just do this for us really quickly. I'll do it here in real time. I'm going to go to relative strength, RES should come up. Uh, I gotta type a little bit more than that. There we go, relative strength. I'm gonna double click right like that. I'm gonna apply it to my chart. Oh, it looks like I applied it twice. Flying without a net here. This is the default on uh, trading view. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but what I need to do, see how it says 14? I'm gonna come over here to the settings. All right, I'm gonna change the period to a five. You could use a three, but I'm gonna do a five for right now. And I don't care about the uh, length or anything of, like that because I'm not doing a, a moving average of it and I'm gonna go to the style so after the inputs of changing this RSI to 5 I'm going to go to the style right here and I'm going to unclick that and unclick all these Bollinger bands and unclick the middle and then all I want right here is I want to set this to 84 I could type it in there too but I'm gonna set this to 84 and I'm gonna set this one down here to 16 and for the purposes of when markets are going down on the sell side, okay, what we're gonna do now is just, hopefully you can see this, I didn't change this to be clear, but this is our shaded area here. And on this particular bar right here, the five period RSI went below 16 and stayed in that below 16 state for one, two, three, four, five bars. That's two and a half hours, okay? It stayed below that level. As long as it's below this level, 
you do not buy. You stay out of it. It's so extreme, it's extreme. It's beyond extreme. You want to stay out of that particular position. Over here, again, it's a little hard to eyeball, but you can see it dipped down for just a moment, and then the condition went away, indicating a good area to buy. The true is the 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 inverse is true up on the uh, on the inverse side here too. So as I'm looking left, I can see. Can you see this one, two, three, four bars over here? Uh, over here on this area here, we're talking about an extreme turn sell that is a signal to not take as well because the condition is staying present. So what we'd what we'd be looking for is a single bar extreme turn sell. Let's see if we have one on the Nasdaq or something. I'll just condense this a little bit. Nothing on the Nasdaq. I know we had one on the Dow Jones recently. Uh, a sell signal on the Dow Jones. Um, okay, so these are all single single uh, bar cells, so they're all valid sell signals with nice separation from the T line. Turns out that basically none of them worked except for this one. This was a pretty nice one. And then here on the Dow Jones, again, we see today multiple conditions saying stay out of the way. So it's a great way to pick bottoms without getting stinky fingers or don't pick a bottom and just wait for the condition to go away, stay out of the way. All right couple other quick things tonight. Uh, thank you for 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I really appreciate it. We're going to continue to grow this channel. If you're not already a subscriber, this is the kind of stuff I talk about. The futures markets, perfect for day trading, uh, strategies and setups and signals that you can use using standard indicators in your own trading. Uh, also wanted to let you know about this uh, cool little special that I put on the, um, the community page here on my page, which is about uh, Bolenix, which is one of our futures prop trading partners. They're running kind of a cool thing that I haven't seen anyone else do. It's a price promotion guarantee. So you can take any kind of coupon or offer from another firm and take it to them and they'll match it. Plus they'll give you five, uh, 5%. Five so if you're familiar with those programs, which I talk about a lot here on the channel, might be something you want to look into. Again, I'll leave a description uh, below for that, how you can get access to that and how the promotion uh, sort of works. So that's, uh, that's something to kind of know about. And then finally, one last thing. Please uh, check the description below for the free Futures Fanatic course. It's a 30 video course. Just costs you the uh, price of your email and a subscribe, a subscribe to the channel here. Um, it's a great way to learn more about the futures markets. And I don't know how much longer I can leave that out there because the bandwidth is starting to cost me a bunch of money. One last thing, and uh, I'm done with all the pitches here, is if you are not yet following me over on TradingView, TradingView is an area where I talk about the concept that we talked about tonight. In fact, I did three videos, including one based on what we're talking about here, which is how to pick bottoms without getting stinky fingers, the anatomy of a perfect short signal, and then find uh, finally how, when, and where to catch a falling knife using RSI. So I am allowed to, um, I'm not allowed, I can go into a lot more detail over there on TradingView because it's a specific site for just sort of trading. And uh, the format is very similar to, to this, but here on you know YouTube, we have short attention spans. And if you even got to this point, thank you very much. That'll be it for tonight. Stay safe out there. It should be a wild Sunday open, given the volatility that we saw in the market this week. And if you're into that kind of thing, let's hope there's no touchback on the kickoff and go Rams. Trade like you mean it. Thanks. Thanks.